stop. What? I saw eyes. Probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. What's the holdup? It's nothing. It's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. What about that thing there? Maybe you have to prime it before turning it on, like an oil pump or something. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes. You're about to lose your... Night vision. Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah. <laughs> Close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. Rocket Jurassic Park's only unofficial radio station. Just a reminder before we sign off, Parklings, if you're not on the boat by 7, you're not going to be on the boat at all. I've got a little something special for all you last-minute packers out there, a personal favorite of mine, and I'll see you all on board. Damn it, Artie. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So, here's a little something to get you ready to set sail. Oh.
Artie, this show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? I see Sleeping Beauty woke up. Did you have to... I woke up just fine on my own, thanks. Right? You were in that tree the whole time. Of course I was. Hey, listen. When I kiss you, you'll remember it. That's never gonna happen. Ah, oh, don't be like that. You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We have to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't mind. Like you don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cookie. That wasn't her fault. Seven of them. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedry. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos on the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedry guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess. You have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. going along with her. Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job, just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? Shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. You mean ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell Injian that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent, and you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. Hey, baby, count me in. Just keep her the hell away from me. He's not keeping me anywhere. But I don't want to be any closer to you than I have to. Now, now. Play nice, you two. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just that there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shoot. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. <laughs> yes.
What's wrong? What happened? wasn't so lucky. What the? Amazing. I've never seen them afraid before. You're getting good at this, Jess. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. That was awesome. Uh, no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. So, Yoder, how did you guys, like, not die when the helicopter crashed? Well, me and Oscar got out on our own before we hit, but Nima needed a little help. Isn't that right, Oscar? Well, I'm just glad you're all okay. 